They say that art is in the eye of the beholder. But what makes art? Who makes art? What is art? Oh, look, this is a tech show, so all we're interested in is how has technology shaped art? Well, in this case, the answer is in fact quite literal. Standing in the old fort at Constitution Hill, amongst a myriad of other artworks, sits a number of rather interesting pieces. Nice from far, but even better close up. But you see, it's the material that they're made from that really piqued our interest. Made exclusively using discarded technology, these works of art are created using the deft hands of their artist, Maurice Mbikai. I'm already part of the Yellow Woods projects with Chaneta, Bligno. And um, after my master show at uh, UCT, Michaelis, so they, they came at the show at the opening and they, they liked the work. They, they thought that the theme of the, the work, the UCT, was quite relevant and then it matches uh, the, the theme there. At, uh, at, and that's why, that, that's why they picked me for the show. That was like almost five years ago. I would go um, sometimes to the technician to repair my second-hand laptop, so I would see some of the uh, the waste, you know, packed in one corner. So <clears throat> I was interested in the, I mean, the aesthetic of it. So I just obsessively packed them, and then started to have ideas how, how to use them and, as artwork. So the kind of uh, technology that I'm using is computer parts, like the, com the computer keys, the mice, and the motherboards. I also use cables, you know, USB cables, and much. That's the main thing that I use. And but I also include some of the things that I found interesting. Also the plastics, you know, like you can see some of the, the work are like flat plastic cat and then laser cat. My next project is a, um, it's called Scars and Stitches. So I'm, I'm also an investigator on technology, but in the other way, which will obviously incorporate computer parts, but some other materials as well. Kirsty, can you tell us why Maurice was chosen for this exhibition? How he started with us is that uh, he was involved in a program called Creative Block, which is a program developed by Yellowwoods Art, which is supported by Nando's, where over 150 artists submit small blocks of artwork, and um, the top artists of that initiative are selected for other initiatives. So Maurice, in actual fact, moved on to a lot of other programs and then he was selected as the top artist in 2011 for a program called the Creative Exchange. The Creative Exchange is where we sponsor them to do a solo exhibition and um, they then, subsequent to that, he has travelled to places in Europe, especially Germany, every year where he sells his art and his um, key signature of his artwork is that he uses found computer parts and incorporates it into his um, artistic expression. Can you tell us a bit more about the Nando's Art Initiative? Well, the Nando's Art Initiative supports over 200 artists on a regular basis, and how we do that is we put them into artist development programs where they're taught artist skills, given ongoing support, they have opportunities to network, and through Jeanetta and her team, which is Yellowwoods Art Constant Support, their, their careers are actually elevated. Um, so we help with the marketing behind that and helping them facilitate having exhibitions such as this one. Now most people just throw their old technology away, whilst Maurice keeps it and recycles it, transforming the old back into something new. I cannot wait to see what he's going to create next.